What's up guys, Charlie NASCAR here, coming at you with another pre-race video with this new NASCAR schedule, doing, doing two pre-race videos a week, two post-race videos a week. I love it. Did a speed crate video earlier this morning when it came in. That's what my new shirt looks like. We wear it for the race, so I wear it for the video too. Well, I'm going to take it off after I do this, that way, you know, it's not all dingy and dirty for the race tomorrow. So anyway, we're racing at Charlotte tomorrow. Memorial Day, the actual Memorial Day, we'll get a race. It'll be an Xfinity race. Um, Kyle Bush has a buddy of mine's um, son school on it, JB Racing. Check him out. He's a NASCAR YouTuber. You know, so he's going to be rooting for Kyle Bush. So I'm not going to hate on him for that. You know, even though JB is a Truex fan, fan and likes Gibbs, you know, he's still a good dude. Love you, JB. But <laughs> this is where it comes to funny. My fantasy picks. Because that's what I, I, I'm doing now. My fantasy picks. I know some people are still leaving pick five contest videos in my comment section. This is going to show why I don't do it anymore. But, you know, if you do like the, the, the pick five contest, my buddies JB Racing and Righteous Red Egg do those. Go ahead and watch their video so you listen to the rules before making your picks, please. All right. Get on to the race. The race is going to be short. It's going to be a 600 miler. Long race. This is one of those races that Martin Truex Jr. dominates, usually. Used to be one that Jimmy Johnson used to dominate. But I'll get that in a minute in my picks. You know, I think this race, honestly, is going to be, I hate to say it, it's going to have a lot of Toyota leading in it. We are going to get qualifying now. So for my qualifying pick, because you get five bonus points of fantasy for that, I put William Byron in there. Now, this is where it's going to get a little crazy, and some of you are going to be like, oh, man, Charlie NASCAR's done, hit too much of his magical stuff. You know, because I'm like the Willie Nelson NASCAR YouTubers, if you all catch that drift. <laughs> when he's making his picks, but there's a method to my madness for my picks. So, for my starting five, I want you to listen, because you get starting five, and you get to put one in the garage. So, I want you to listen to this. This is what my starting five is going to look like. It's going to have Truex Jr. in it. It's going to have Kyle Busch. Denny Hamlin, I should you not, Eric Jones, and y'all see where this is going. I'm putting Christopher Bell in there. Why am I doing that? Number one, you get 10 races to use picks. So I want to kind of burn through some of these Toyota drivers I don't really like to pick. Just pick them out so I can go with my Penske Heavy lineup. Now in my garage, this is what I have in my garage. I have Jimmy Johnson. I'm predicting Jimmy Johnson's going to win this race. Why is he in the garage and not in my starting five is? Because whatever one of those Toyota drivers is doing the worst before the end of the second stage, I can go ahead and swap Jimmy in there, take the weakest one out, and maximize my points. I, I, I think, honestly, the Toyotas are going to dominate most of this race. I'm just hoping and pulling and believing that Jimmy Johnson will win this race. I know it won't be happy for a good for a Team Penske day, but hey, if I'm wrong, hey, I'll be even happier. I mean, Ryan Blaney wins. I, my fantasy takes a shit. I'll be happier as you, you you wouldn't believe. I'd be happier than Kyle Bush. I mean, happier than Chase Elliott locked in the room. Kyle Bush with a baseball bat, you know. But anyway, guys, and I also don't think that payback's happening till the playoffs between Kyle Bush and Chase Elliott. So let's well, all just you know grab a deep breath about that. Well, anyway, guys, that's my fantasy picks for the race. Love to hear what you th thoughts of the race. Keep the conversation going. Guys, I'm Charlie NASCAR and Toyota. For the first two stages of the race, you can do good. For the third stage, go fuck yourselves.